Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of quantity 2x plus 5 raised to 7 dx. So we cannot evaluate this integral directly because we don't have a formula for this form of integral. But we can use first substitution to simplify the integral so that we can apply the existing integral formula, particularly this power formula. So I can let u be equal to 2x plus 5. Then get the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u, that's du. Derivative of 2x plus 5. So differentiate term by term. Derivative of 2x, that's 2. Plus derivative of 5 is 0. So we just have 2 plus 0 or 2. Then don't forget the dx. So we just have dx on the original integral. So we can get rid of this extra coefficient of 2 by dividing both sides by 2. So we have du over 2 is equal to dx. Let's now substitute to the original integral. We have the integral of 2x plus 5. That's now equal to u. Then we still need to raise it to the 7 power. Then this dx is now equal to du over 2. So this over 2, it's a constant of 1 half. So we can just put it in front of the integral first. So we will have 1 half integral of u to the 7 du. So therefore, we can now apply the power rule to evaluate the integral of u to the 7. So we have 1 half times the integral of u to the 7. That will be u to the 7 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 plus c. Or if we simplify, we have 1 half times u to the 7 plus 1, that's 8, over 7 plus 1, also 8, plus c. So 1 half times 1, 8, that will be 1 over 16, u to the 8, plus c. But don't forget, you transform back the u in terms of the original variable. So u is equal to 2x plus 5. So the final answer should be 1 over 16 times u, which is 2x plus 5, raised to the 8, plus c. So this is the final answer. Next, for number 2, we have the integral of 4x cubed over quantity x to the 4th minus 1 raised to the 4th power dx. Again, let's use u substitution first so we can let u be equal to x to the 4th minus 1. Then get the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u, that's du. Derivative of x to the 4th minus 1. So derivative of x to the 4th is 4x cubed power formula. Minus the derivative of 1, 0. So we just have 4x cubed minus 0 or simply 4x cubed. Then don't forget the dx. So we have created already this term on the integral 4x cubed dx so that we can have 4x cubed dx equal to du. Substituting in the original integral, we will have. So let's start with 4x cubed dx that's now equal to du over x to the 4th minus 1, that's equal to u, raised to the 4th power. So this can be evaluated using power rule, but we can transform this first into negative exponent. So 1 over u to the 4th, it's the same as u to the negative 4 du. So to evaluate the integral of u to the negative 4 du, it's equal to u to the negative 4 plus 1 over negative 4 plus 1 plus c. Simplifying, we have u to the negative 4 plus 1 or negative 3 over negative 4 plus 1 also negative 3 plus c. And then simplifying this without negative exponent, it's the same as negative 1 over 3 u to the third plus c. And finally, we transform back the u in terms of x. So u is equal to x to the fourth minus 1. So the final answer should be negative 1 over 3. u is x to the fourth minus 1. Then raised to the third power plus c. So this is the final answer. For number 3, we have the integral of 6x times the square root of 3x squared plus 1 dx. Again, let's apply your substitution first. So we can let u be equal to 3x squared plus 1. Get the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u, that's du. Derivative of 3x squared plus 1. So let's start with the derivative of 3x squared. That will be 3 times the derivative of x squared is 2x plus the derivative of 1, 0. 
So we will have du is equal to 3 times 2x, that's 6x plus 0. So no need to write that. And don't forget that dx. So therefore, we have created the 6x dx term here, which is now equal to du. We can now substitute as the integral of, so let's start with the square root of 3x squared plus 1. That's just equal to u. So we have the square root of u. And then the 6x dx is just equal now to du. So we can evaluate this integral using power rule. But let's transform first the square root of u in terms of fractional exponent. So square root of u is the same as u to the 1 half du. And applying power formula, so integral of u to the 1 half du, it's equal to u raised to 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1 plus c. Simplifying, we have u raised to 1 half plus 1, that's 3 halves, over 1 half plus 1, also 3 halves plus c. Then, just simplify the complex fraction. We just need to get the reciprocal of the denominator. The reciprocal of 3 halves is 2 thirds. Then, multiply it by u to the 3 halves plus c. Then, just transform back the u in terms of x. So, u is equal to 3x squared plus 1. So, the final answer is 2 thirds times u which is 3x squared plus 1. Then, raise to the 3 halves plus c. Okay, now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.